And I hate to draw it this way, but we are down here. <laughs> Low power, and no question about it, we are perform. You know, there's a couple of uh, power barriers in here. You know, one is the power you need to get below to have these handheld things. The other is the power barrier sort of for, uh, you know, real, real portable, mobile, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, yeah, that, I guess in fairness, they stick into there. So our concept was that we've got the power, we've got, we've got design wins, what, how can we uh, get more business, put it up And the answer was increase our performance, but keep everything else the same. So our goal was, our original design goal was uh, double performance, keep the power the same, and also, this will be important when we get to Intel, make it perfectly compatible. Same package, same chipset. So a person could literally build one board that would take the C7, and the same board could also take an Isaiah part. Now, what's happened is, and so how did we get 2x performance at the same power? We did it through real man's architecture, right? Okay? The, how did, in the meantime, what Intel's done is build a part that, who knows what it is, but let me put it right here, for example, right? I'll call this silver filling here. We don't know where it's going to fit in the power performance range, but the thing that's interesting about it is, it is two things. It isn't going to be as fast as Isaiah because it's got an in-order architecture and some other restrictions. It also is completely incompatible with the main product line. Different chipsets, different bus, different packages. So you either have this or you have, have this. And there's no way to grow from here to here and we only have a one point solution. So that's our view of what the world is. This be an Intel and this coming down. And that our part here is not as fast still as the top end of Intel, but it's probably as fast as some of the Intel parts are shipping today. 